Hi everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky Milton, my name is Mai, and we hope you're doing super well today. And look at my t-shirt, do you like it? It's written dog vibes only, and it's one of our new designs for Cavology, and it's coming very soon. And it's gonna be available in three colors, black, white, and pink. Yeah, and I hope you like it too, because a lot of people have been asking for round necks, so round necks coming your way soon. So, to jump in on today's subject, we are doing a Q&A video, as announced in our last video. And you guys also enjoyed the Herky versus Milton video a lot, and I'll be linking it here if you haven't seen it. It's basically a video where I talk about Herky and Milton's differences because although they kind of look similar and they're the like same breed, their personalities are very different. So we get asked a lot of questions about the girls, so I just thought I would ask you guys to ask away on YouTube and also on Instagram and I've gathered a lot of the questions, so here we go. Okay, first question is in French. It's from Kniza. Oui, j'en ai une tonne. Alors déjà, qu'ils qu perdent leur poil beaucoup, Si c'est le cas, tu leur fais une coupe et comme est tellement cette coupe. So basically, that person is asking if the dogs shed and if we do any sort of haircut for them. And the answer is yes, they shed tremendously, so much. But we do not take them to the groomers because they don't have a lot of hair. And Herky doesn't really like the groomers, so we just try to keep their fur trimmed and proper from home. Actually, Milton's hair like never ever grew, and she looks like this, although she never ever had a haircut in her life. Finley the Cavalier. My question is, why don't y'all live closer? I feel we'd be all friends. Hello. Oh, I wish we lived closer, Finley. Chelsea Kuzo Korea. Will you ever put the girls in fashion? They're so posh. Would you guys like to see a fashion show? Because Herc and Milton, they have a lot of clothes and it would be really funny to film a fashion show. Romeo the Tricolor. Moi, j'ai une question sur Romeo. Est-ce que c'est vrai que Milton préfère Romeo? So Romeo asked if Milton actually prefers Romeo and loves Romeo the most and the answer is yes. Milton's completely infatuated with Romeo. Where's Romeo? 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 You Romeo? You Romeo? See? They just love him. Ex friend friend. What was the adoption process like in Quebec specifically? What do you need to look out for, etc? And can you recommend your breeder? Thanks. So we do get that question a lot about the girl's breeder and how it goes along and if we can recommend the breeder. And the answer is that you should do research based on where you are located. A lot of people ask me about my breeder, but then they live on the other side of the United States on the West Coast. And the answer is most breeders do not ship puppies. So you should really do your research on a local breeders. I recommend the, the Cavalier Club website. They have one in Canada and in the US and they do have a list of registered breeder according to state or province. So you should go on there and do your research. Uh, the girls are both from the same breeder and he's local. He's uh, in the south shore of Montreal. And basically adoption process for Herky took a long time. It took what? Nine months? Time. Over six months for sure. Maybe close to a year that we were on a waiting list for Herky because we wanted a female Blenheim and yeah we just put her name down and the breeder contacts us whenever a litter is born and according to where you are on the wait list on our litter we had the first pick and there was two Blenheim females and we ended up picking Herky I'll insert a photo of the two girl Blenheims here and you can try to guess who Herky is let us know who you think Herky is in the comment section below Melody Lauren what did Herky and Milton grow out of the I want to put everything in my mouth and scare mom to death phase. My calf wants to eat everything and I freak out every time. Actually, Herky never grew out of that phase and she's a little monster. Every time we go on walks, she still wants to eat everything she finds on the floor. But Milton is very different and she was never ever like that. She's actually only going to sniff things and when she grabs something in her mouth and you just say her name, she's going to drop it immediately. So it really depends on your calf's temperament. Herky, even when she picks up something and we yell her name, she's just gonna swallow it faster. So it never works for Herky. Hannah Marie, do you give them any vitamins or supplements to help prevent heart conditions known within the breed? We don't give them specific supplements, but we do have them eat a fish formula of the Canisource Grand Cru and the Origin. They're both on the fish formula because there's added, there's healthy fats in there, and that's known to help prevent heart diseases, so that's what we try to give them. Marianne Russo, do your calves snore like crazy? My calf Bubba literally shakes the house 
so we have to take a loud fan near his bed to drown out his snoring. Both of them have some moments when they snore really loud, but most of the time they're pretty silent. Charmaine Joy. How did you come up with the names Herky and Milton? I love how unique, adorable the names are. So we do get that question a lot too and I realize I never mentioned it in a video. Both of their names actually were picked out before we even got them. And it's like we have a list of dog names all the time going on. But Herky, oops, Herky is actually short for Hercules. And yes, she's a female, she's a girl. But I really like names that are kind of gender neutral and I don't really believe in certain names being only allotted to females or males. So Hercules comes from the movie Nutty Professor. I don't know if you've seen the scene, but they basically go, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Oh, Hercules, 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 What's Hercules. Work we had a really good laugh at that scene. So we were like, our dog is going to be called Hercules. And it's going to be, she, she or he is going to be named Herky for short. And that name just stuck around. And as for Milton, we just love how funny it sounds, especially on a little girl, because it sounds like an old man's name. No offense if any of you have relatives named Milton. I just thought it's such a funny name and it sounds really cute on a little dog. Is that how we came up with the name Milton? Yeah, pretty much. We like boy names for girls. I think it sounds cute. I also think it's funny when the vets get confused. Janike Middlecamp, sorry if I mispronounced. Did you go to a puppy class to learn how to raise the girls? If not, why didn't you go? No, they both didn't go to puppy school because we are very lazy and it's also- We're broke. Oh, right. So <laughs> it costs money and also we're very lazy. I wanted to add that I like that my dogs are rambunctious. Jagoda Trebek. Oh, sorry if mispronounced. Kind of a silly question, but do the girls have any patches that remind you of anything? For example, a heart or something like that? I've always wished that they had something really distinctive like that because I do see some Cavaliers with like hearts and like thunderbolts on their coats and I think it's really cute, but Milton just has a like big patch on her back. It looks like a little island and Herky, when you look at her from the back, she has one brown leg and one white leg. That's about it. Frizui <laughs> 1. How did you educate your little Grinches? Like not to pull on the leash or not to bite your hands. Oh my god, they pull so much. They are so not trained to not pull and basically I'm just too lazy to train them for that and I have no patience when we go on walks and you're supposed to stop every time they pull. Like I have no patience for that so whatever. Herky, she gets like so crazy sometimes at pulling and Milton too and it's sort of like they enable each other and they trigger each other to be crazy so no, they are really not trained for that. Was it a two-part question? Yeah, for the biting. We oh her. yeah, uh, Herky was biting a lot when she was a puppy. Milton never bit and she just basically, Herky grew out of it. We just sort of do all the basic puppy things that you're supposed to do. Like when they bite, you say no and then you divert their attention to another toy that they're supposed to bite. So Herky, can you turn around so people see your face? Oh, you girl. Ben Solo the Cab. What are Herky and Milton's favorite clothes to wear? You mentioned in the video that Herky doesn't wear dresses. Well, Herky's wearing a dress right now and I sort of made her. Herky doesn't like to wear any clothes. She doesn't really resist, but every time I pull off some clothes, she'll sort of like waddle her little butt away from it. Whereas Milton will actually walk towards me to wear some clothes. Milton actually really likes her pajamas because I think she knows that it means bedtime. So at night when I pull out the pajamas, Herky tries to go hide in the bedroom before I put it on, but Milton walks towards me so I can put it on her. I think they both don't know it, but they really love their winter jackets when it's cold outside. I think Milton likes her boots. Yeah, Milton really likes her boots because otherwise she can't walk. Kia Reed, how did you get the girls to be emotional support dogs? I have anxiety attacks being away from my cavi. Aww, I think we have a lot of comments regarding ESAs, right? A lot. Like so many of you asking about the ESA, so for this video not to be like 35 minutes long, we're gonna make a standalone video on the entire ESA thing coming very soon. Cavalier Uller. What tricks do Milton and Herky know? Uh, they don't know that much according to me. They know sit, down, stay, hello. They know leave it. They know bang, which is when they play dead. And Milton knows spin. They know a pretty decent amount, but they really do them just when they want. Who's Milton? Oh yeah, who's Milton? How can I forget that one? Link. <laughs> Simibu06. Are they hard work to look after? I'm trying to persuade my mom to get me a Cavalier. Honestly, they're, I think they're really easygoing dogs and I think you can attest to the fact that they're easy dogs in general since you had two other dogs. Um, they both get easy past the age of two. Milton was always easy. 
yeah, Milton was such an easy puppy. Herky was harder as a puppy, but now she's just so easygoing. They're really, really easy to take care of. But, but I hope her babysitters think so too. Also, you guys need to know that they're, they're not cats. They're dogs. So they do need a lot of attention and we're with them all the time. So in that, in that aspect, they're easy, but we're always with them. Mm -hmm. Anna the Cav. I'd like to know why you choose the Cavalier breed. Is it the Blenheim your favorite coat color? I've always... L Did you just paw your sister, girl? I've always loved uh, Cavaliers ever since we I watched that movie Lady and the Tramp when I was younger. I just think they're such beautiful dogs. I love the long ears and the sweet faces and absolutely Blenheim is my favorite color. Izzy Hunt. Did anyone in the family have Cavaliers before Herky and Milton? Nope. Chelsea. Yeah, can I know things about the parents? I want to get to know you better. Say one random fact about you and I'll say one random fact about you. Um, I love dogs and freedom. That's not random. Go, random. Andy and I both grew up in the same city and our dads went to university together. XX Pastalix Mex. Sorry about that. What Cavaliers personality do they like to play and run around the house? Uh, they're pretty playful at times, but most of the time they do this. They're very sweet and cuddly, but they always get super excited to go on walks and they love to eat. Steffi Walsh, what do you do to stop your dogs from barking at other dogs? Herky and Milton are so cute. Well, our girls are scared of other dogs, so they don't usually bark at other dogs unless they're really far, like on their balcony, and they just bark down. I've never figured out a solid trick to make them stop barking, though. Sorry, I can't help you with that. When Herky starts barking at other dogs from the balcony, there's no stopping there's him. There's nothing you can do. Miss KK17, what do you think is the best way to get rid of ticks? What food treats do you feed your Cavaliers? We do have a video all about ticks that I'll be linking right here. As for treats, we like to feed them simple ingredient treats such as straight dehydrated chicken, dehydrated liver, or fruits and vegetables. Picturesque Cloud, what are Herky and Milton's favorite treats? Chicken? <laughs> you owe them a treat now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. This is an example of one of their favorites. It's just dehydrated chicken. And they might bite my finger. Are you okay? Finley the Cavalier, two questions. Cavaliers are clearly your favorite breed, mine as well, but what is your second fave? Oh my god, that's such a difficult question. I love dogs so much and I've always grown up loving dogs. I think my other favorite breed would be Golden Retrievers. They have such sweet eyes and when I think about puppy eyes or puppy faces, I think of Golden Retrievers. Love them. What's can yours? We, can we get one? You want to get a Golden? You want to get a Retriever? Let's get Herky a golden retriever. Herky, do you want a golden retriever? <laughs> Herky Milton and retriever. What's your second favorite? Um, Long-haired Jack Russell Terriers. Do you think you'll always own Cavaliers or do you want another breed one day? Well, as, as I just mentioned, I love golden retrievers. I really don't know if I would get another breed. I like having smaller dogs. They're really easy to take care of. Maybe if we get a huge house one day. Oh yeah, let's get a ranch with tons of dogs. Miss Honey BX, what's your favorite place to visit? Huntington Beach with the girls. Janike Middle Camp. How did mom and dad meet? On Facebook. <laughs> so romantic. We're so old. Yeah, hi, Erky. You're cuddly. You're cuddly. Kisley, will there ever be a third calf baby? Oh my god, we were just talking about that this week. I don't know why we do this to ourselves, but we sometimes watch old videos and old photos of Herky and Milton, and then we get puppy fever, and then we get so close to getting another puppy, and then we just realize that right now it's not really possible given our lifestyle. We travel with the girls all the time, and it's already kind of challenging traveling with two, especially on the plane, so it'd be impossible for us to travel with a third on the plane, right? Right? Yeah, maybe if one day we get settled somewhere, we'll have like six of them. And like not travel anymore and have all dogs. One oh, day. it's just me and Herky now. Audrey Kalen, how was potty training Herky and Milton? With Herky, it was really easy. It's almost like she came already potty trained and she was very, very smart, so it was easy. But Milton was a bit more challenging. When she was like one and a half or something, she still pooped in the house at some point. She was just a little more difficult, but I had heard that when you have a second one, it's easier because they copied the first, but it wasn't true with Milton. Herky learned how to potty train after like the third day. 
I know, she was so good. And Milton, if she needed to poo during the winter time inside, she'll just do it. I'm Aaron Lewis. If you were to get a third pup, would it be the same breed, and if not, what color? And if not, what color? <laughs> what the f***, Herky? You just clawed my face! Notice you can't say f*** on Herky the Cavalier. Herky the Cavalier. I'm Aaron Lewis. Are Herky and Milton actually from the same mom and dad or from different parents? Same papa. Isn't that cute? So cute. Bandit the Cavalier. I like that name, Bandit. Yeah, it's cute. If you got another Cavalier, which coat color would you pick? Blenheim. Oh, that's fast. Ivy Lopez. How do you deal with puppy's tear stains? I know Milton had some when she was teething. They both had some when they were teething actually and they just go away eventually. You really need to trust this. It's really a cycle. Both Herky and Milton had them and I just tried to wipe them and use some sort of tear cleaner or eye stain remover. We used the one from Hunter. Any one will work honestly because nothing is magical. I'm telling you, in my experience, nothing's magical for tear stains and they just eventually go away. Shia Landolfo. How do you take care of your Cavalier's ears? Thank if you answer me, I love your puppies. Oh, thank you so much. We do have a grooming video that we just put up recently. I'll link it right here. Griffin Puff 7167. Would you recommend a Cavalier to someone who is allergic to dogs that shed? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> they shed so much, guys. The Daily Serenity. What's it like to having two dogs versus one? It's twice the fun. Twice the poo. Twice you, the pee. Twice the food. Twice the vet bills. Oh. Twice the love. That's really fun we have four eyes looking at you. And they do funny things together. They really entertain each other sometimes. It's really cute. Two is better than one. Two is definitely better than one. I've never owned a dog before. Steph Wittick. How do I prepare slash what do I need to know before the rescue? Aww. So cute. Herky was actually my first dog too. And what I did to prepare is just watch some videos around the internet, get all the necessary materials. We do have a ton of video we have to prepare and our top accessories and things to to get when you have a, a dog or a puppy and I'll link it here, whatever and basically my top tip would be to get a crate or a playpen because crate training is essential Penny by the Bay, cute Where did you get Herky and Milton's bed from? It looks so comfy So we get that question all the time and both their beds, all their beds actually are from B1 Breed It's a local company from Montreal It's funny that you mentioned because Milton left the video to go lie in her bed and she looks really comfortable right now <laughs> Romeo the tricolor CKC Est-ce que Herky mange vraiment des Kleenex? Ha ha ha. Does Herky eat Kleenex? Yes, she does. Especially dirty ones. For reals. What type of crates do you recommend? There's no specific brand on our crate. I think we got ours from, what, Walmart? Any carrier or crate will do as long as you have something to confine their environment. Cyanaluk18. Are King Charles Cavalier good in winter and summer weathers? I would say they're they're okay in both, but they do tend to overheat. They are a short snout breed, so they can tend to overheat. So super harsh summer weather uh, can be difficult on them, and super super cold weather can be harsh on them as well. So they're good in like moderate climates. Although these girls have been in both weathers and they're fine, but you have to take some precautions. Ashley and Beach. How did you come up with the idea of the leashes along with the names of them? I've always eyed those rope leashes um, from a specific brand. I think they're called Shop Harks and they were, they're pretty pricey. They're pricier than ours, believe it or not. And I've always wanted to buy them but I thought they were really expensive and I thought I would give it a go at making them myself. And when I succeeded, I was like, hey, this is actually a model that I would want to purchase, so why not try to offer them for sale? And that's how I went about the idea of leashes. But the names of the past three or four collections are actually naming contests that our subscribers and followers, they come up with the names. So every time we launch a new collection, we hold the contest on Instagram usually, and then they get to pick the names. And whatever names are retained, then that person also wins a leash. So it's super fun and it's a win-win for everyone yeah but we give them the constraints of city names or like countries because we like to travel we do give a theme yes millie xx beautiful how do you teach your dog how to sit 
with okay, so many questions that our video stopped and so let's resume so the question was how do you get your dogs to sit with treats and patience teach them at a young age very young like as soon as you get them you can start with the first command is sit kia reed how do you get the girls to stay so still and pose for photos haha <laughs> It's patience and repetition and treats. I'm telling you, every time I pull out the camera now, they jump on this thing and they think it's photo time. So you need to keep at it all the time. I think they go through photo sessions like two, three times a week. So they know when camera comes out, they take photos and then they get treats. Probably also good to mention that for like one good picture, you have a thousand bad ones. <laughs> Minor detail. Hey, leave Maya a comment below if you want to see all her blooper pictures. <laughs> Lindsay Lee, what's the best way to reduce shedding? I have a 12 week old cavalier. Frequent brushing and pajamas. I'll be linking a video here. Rosita Chiquita, best hairbrush? I'll be linking my grooming video also, and I'm mentioning my favorite brushes in there. How old is Herky and Milton, Sienna Luke? Herky is four, and Milton is turning two tomorrow. Fresh start every day. What made you start the vlog and are you and Andy planning on any kids? Uh, we started uh, the videos of Hurricane Milton just because we wanted to have some souvenirs and basically share tips to dog owners because Hurricane was my first. So I just wanted to spread some knowledge and keep some souvenirs of her by making some videos and no, we are not planning on having kids. Maybe our third dog before a kid. Puppy paparazzi. Would you ever get another Cavalier? Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay, we just took a break and now we're on to YouTube questions and disagree with me. Congratulations. Now I have a sad but serious question. Do you ever worry about cavaliers and inherited heart disease? I sometimes get worried about my cavalier. Sorry, but I want to know to see if you have any kind of tips. We do have a video about um, heart issues with cavaliers. And of course, we worry, worry about it all the time. And even with preventative measures, their heart conditions are genetic. So even if you do everything you can in your power, they might still end up having it. But yes, we think about it all the time. Oh, and how do you feed Herky and Milton? Yeah, we get this question all the time about what we feed them. Again, we feed them. Canisource Grand Cru and Origin Fish Formula. So it's a mix of fish, of a dehydrated raw, and a traditional kibble. I'll link Herky's weight loss video journey here. Oh, Claire Graves. I'm wondering if you could answer the following questions. Are your girls spayed? Herky is spayed and Milton is not, but we are considering spaying her very soon. Would you consider breeding Milton? Yes! Of course, this is a big debate. I'll, I'll do actually a standalone video about whether to spay or not to spay, which is a existential question in our household. Have you thought about changing the channel name to include Milton too? We have considered it, but I think to be consistent with our branding, we decided to stay with Herky the Cavalier and hope the legacy will continue even after Herky and Milton are not here with us anymore. Long live Queen Herky. Herky, you're my muse! Aline Caliber. I have a question. I'm home from work because I'm pregnant with twins. Nina and I have been together every day. We both enjoy each other's company so much. All I know is I will miss her so hard when I have to go back to work. This will be in December, January. But what can I do to help Nina? I, I can actually totally relate with that because when Herky was younger and up to when she was about a year, a year old, I was at home with her all the time and then had to start working. So what you can do is start leaving her for little periods of time every day to get her used to it, maybe leave an hour, two hours, run some errands and do something so that she can get ready and she gets into a routine because dogs love routine and when you break that routine is when they get really startled and one thing that you can help and get them into a new routine is that you start leaving every day for longer periods of time but if that's not possible then of course she's eventually gonna get used to it but it's always helpful to for her to have a an item of clothing that smells like you in her bed, for example. Elisa Lin. How can you make two dogs emotional support animals? I thought you were only allowed one. That will be treated in our ESA video coming very soon. Herky's a needy puppy. Walk and walk. Oh. <laughs> you got hit in the face again? Again! Herky! You punched mom in the face three times today. I'm gonna bug you. I'm gonna bug you so much. 
YouTube all ESA questions for the big majority. Okay guys, we're gonna close it with the mothership of questions by Tabitha Susanna. I do have several questions for you. Number one, does Andy work outside the home or do you both taking on this channel full time? Andy has his own company of sports memorabilia. It's called Armory Steel and he does work from home so the girls will have a full dose of us on the daily. Number two, quite some time ago you made a video where you introduced us to several other dogs you had living with you. What has happened to these dogs? Well, uh, those dogs, we love them so much. I'll link the video here. They are Ogie and Nettie and they are actually Andy's kids from his previous relationship. And we did have split custody of the dogs for two years or so. So that's why at some point we were living with four of them and it was amazing. But unfortunately things D didn't go as planned and we no longer have split custody and we no longer see Ongi and Neri so that's why you don't see them around anymore but it's not because we don't like them and we don't want to show them on the video it's because we actually don't have them anymore oh if we had them they'd be on all the time <laughs> all the time because Herky and Milton they love Ongi and Neri so much and it's really sad that we can't see them anymore that's a wrap Wow, this is going to be a super long video and we hope you enjoyed all the questions. If this was fun for you and you liked it, please thumbs this video up and let us know in the comments because we always try to do videos according to what you want. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I'll be linking our previous two videos here that I hope you'll be watching them too. So thank you so much for watching guys. We love you and we'll see you soon.